Animated containers are the simple solution for doing animations in Flutter. What we want to build in this video is this container, which changes its shapes, color and also its size. And we also want to build this follow button, which expands and shrinks if we click on it. So let's get started. So what we first of all do is to build here a column and inside of this column we want to create our playground. So I will create here this container with the color of black and the playground I will give this width and height and therefore I create here a max size. So the playground will be of 200 pixels and under our playground we will quickly create here some height between and then we create here a button and this is a normal button with some shape, with some color. And then we create here this text to magic, which you saw before. Every time we press on it, we will change the form of our animated controller. And then we can also add here this unpressed handler. So every time we press on this, then we want to do something. And yeah, now we can continue here in our playground. And therefore we create first of all a center. So we want to center our animated container. Then we put here our animated container inside and now we give it here a duration so we can simply say how long this animation should last later. So we will put it for example right now for 500. Then you can set a curve and this is basically how the animation changes. And like you can see we have here different curves which you can use in this animated container. and. With these you can change how fast this animation should go. So for example this one here goes really slowly in the beginning and then it gets faster. Or maybe there are also like other ones which are going really fast in the beginning. So there are like different forms. So for example this one is going fast here in the beginning the animation and then the animation slows down. Alright so this is about the curve and then we also set here a width and height so everything is pretty similar to the container widget which we have in Flutter and I will also set here a height and a width to the max size so we set it to our playground and then we also want to create here decoration where we want to set a color and a border radius and I simply create these both fields and now we can look at our implementation what we have done so we have set here some color for our container and we have also created here like a simple container like a width and height and this button here below. And now we want to do some stuff if we click here on this do magic. Therefore I go here into this unpressed handler and here inside we want first of all to create a random object which we want to use later to randomly generate our container content. And the first thing I want to generate is the color. So we go here over our random object and generate a red value. And we also do this for the green and blue value. And then we get our color. So here is our generated color, which is random. And then we simply create a set state. And now what we want to do is to override this color property, which we have set here into our box decoration. So our animated container will now change every time if we press now on this button. So let's try this out. So basically I click here on do magic and then you see the color is changing and it takes some time because we have set here the animation for example to 500 milliseconds. You can also change it for example to 3 seconds and then it will take a little bit longer to change the color. So like you can see it takes much 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 longer to animate the color. And the next thing what we want to change is the size. So I create here this generated size and I created here this method which generates our size. So basically what we have here is some random object and then we generate here width and height with this random object. And this includes then our min size and max size attributes which we have set at the top. So our container which we then generate will be of min size 50 and max size 200. And we want to use this here, the size, and then put our width property to this size.width which we have get generated. And we do the same thing for the height. And then our animated container will also change because we have here also set the width and height property inside. So let's try this out. If I press now on this do magic, then you see 
that also the size is changing. And in the background, you see some gray color because this is our playground, which we created in the beginning. So this is of max size with the color of a grayish color. And now every time we press here, then it changes the shape and the color. And now we can also change beside the color and size more properties. So you can basically change everything. What we also can change is the border radius of this. So we can make it curved. And therefore I create here this border radius circular and here inside I also take the random object to generate some circular shape. And now we set this border radius to our field, which we also have inside of our animated container. And here inside of our decoration, we have this border radius. And then if we hot restart this application and press here on do magic, then you also see that this shape sometimes changes. And if you do this multiple times, you see we get much, much different shapes. And yeah, this animated container is pretty simple because we simply have every time to call the set state and the animated container will automatically do everything for us and will change the width, height and so on. We only need to pass the values and call the set state method and this will automatically change everything. And the next thing what we want to create is this follow button. I think you saw it in the beginning and therefore we want to create it here on top of it. And to create this follow button, I created a new file follow button widget. And here inside, we basically want to create first of all a gesture detector, which will be later used to check if we clicked on our follow button. And then we want to create our animated container. And inside we simply create a duration and curve because this is kind of a standard, you set it. And I set it here basically to 300 and the ease in curve because this is really cool, this curve. And the next thing is you set the width and height of the follow button in the initial state. And this will be a larger width. And then we want to build this button. And therefore I create here this method build stretched. And here inside we build a container and inside of this container we have a center and fitted box and i will later tell you more about why we put this inside and basically we want to create here this follow text with some style and now if i hot restart this application you basically see here this follow text so we also want to make it a little bit better so we put here next to the text style also a decoration inside and then we create here box decoration with a color of white and if I hot reload it, for example, right now, then you see here a white background. So maybe we also create here a border radius and a border. So let's also put here a border around so we see this button better. And I will also make it a little bit rounded. Therefore, I put here this circular border radius inside. Now the next step is to create a field is small. And this will then choose if we show the shrinked version of our button or if we show the stretched version. And the next thing is that we also set the width depending of our property boolean field. So if it is small, we get here a smaller width and otherwise we set the width to a higher value. And now we can basically set this property here at the top. And the next step would be to build this build shrink method. And here inside we create a container. And inside of this container, we basically create some icon. And to make this icon better looking, we also put here decoration inside like we did it before. So I set it here to color red and I set also border radius around it so that it gets rounded. And if we hot restart this application, then you see here this small button. And what we want to do now is to also implement it if we click on it. So we simply want to toggle the is small state so every time the small is changing, then the width will change and also this widget, which we put here inside. So let's try this out. So now I press here on this button, then it will toggle between the follower and then it gets bigger and smaller. And basically the most important one is changing here the width. And we also change here the form depending on what we have selected, built shrinked or built stretched version. And then it also changes its form from these properties with color, border and border radius to these properties, which have like a little bit different version. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.